Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Brittany Lung. Well, the 2019 season is starting to wind down, but we still had a few race face drivers in action this week. Let's get started with Jesse Love, who is at the Stockton Dirt Track for the Sprint Car Challenge Tour final race of the year in his Van Dyke Motorsports 5H 360 winged sprint car. On Friday, Jesse qualified ninth in a 27 car field and finished ninth in the A main. On Saturday, he brought home another top 10 finishing in 10th. Up next for Jesse, SRL Southwest Tour at Las Vegas Motor Speedway's Bull Ring on November 23rd. Minnie Tyrell was at South Boston Speedway for the Cars Tour season finale, where he qualified six for the 125 lap Saturday main event. Minnie was able to bring home another top 10 finish, crossing the line in eighth. That's six top eight finishes in 11 starts, and that earned him a sixth place finish in the championship point standings. Minnie also won the 2019 Cars Tour Rookie of the Year. Congratulations many on an awesome season. Connor Mosack was making his Cars Tour debut at South Boston Speedway, driving the number 98 Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports. Connor qualified 18th and started to move forward soon after the green flag waved, but got involved in an accident in front of him, resulting in damage to the left front fender and picking up a vibration. With 30 laps to go, he was caught up in another accordion-like crash that South Boston is famous for that pushed the hood up, causing a tight condition but was able to stay on the lead lap, bringing home a 12th place finish. Congratulations to Junior Motorsports teammate Josh Berry for the win and Bobby McCarty for winning the 2019 Cars Tour Championship. Up next for Connor, Myrtle Beach 400 on November 16th. Joey East was at All-American Speedway on Saturday night in his number 88 Ag Center 59 Richwood Meat Chevrolet for his final Pro Late Model Race of the Year, where he qualified ninth, then brought home a sixth place finish against a stacked field of West Coast drivers. Joey had a great season that included a 51-50 Junior Late Model Championship and several top finishes in his Nick Clower Pro Late Model. All great preparation for the 2020 season. Caden Honeycutt was back in a legend car for a little fun at Texas Motor Speedway, where he swept the Inex Pro Legend Series races, winning his heat race and both features. Up next, the Snowball Derby at Five Flags Speedway. Let's check in on our Race Face Next drivers. William Cox was at Atlanta Motorsports Park for the 2019 INEX Road Course World Finals, where on Saturday he qualified second, then finished first in his heat race, putting him on the pole for Sunday's World Final. On Sunday, Will started on the pole for the feature, but fell back to fifth due to some contact coming to take the green flag. Will then started his march back to the front and on lap two, he moved back to second and took the lead on lap six. On the final lap, Will got moved coming out of turn one, then was spun in turn three, but managed to resume finishing in third place. Jake Bowman was also at Atlanta Motorsports Park on Saturday and Sunday for the 2019 INEX Road Course World Finals. On Saturday, Jake set fast time, securing the number one qualifying position and finished second in his heat race, guaranteeing him a front row starting position for the finals. On Sunday, when the green flag flew, the action heated up between the top four cars. Jake got off track coming out of turn one, but gathered it up and settled back into a rhythm and battled his way to a second place finish. Here's a look at the post-race celebration for both Jake and Will. Grant Thompson was at Mobile International Speedway in his pro truck for the Rawls Asphalt 77, where he set fast time in practice. But the rear end broke when he pulled on the track for qualifying, ending his night before it ever got started. After the race, he was presented with the 2019 Pro Truck Track Championship trophy and jacket, making him the youngest track champion in history at Mobile International Speedway. Race face drivers who didn't compete last week but will see action this week include Anthony Alfredo, who will return to the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series on Friday at ISM Raceway in Phoenix, Arizona. Sheldon Creed will also be back in his truck at ISM Raceway on Friday. 
That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung, and thank you for watching. Thank you.